What, Dr. Painty? The highest landform in the world, little kitty. Landform? Yes, little kitty. Hey, friends, in today's episode, let me take you around the globe to witness the natural beauty our Earth is blessed with, known as the landforms, and briefly explore their exciting formation process with stunning graphics from our creative team. Zoom in! So, what are the landforms of the Earth? Just like all living beings have certain physical features that distinguish them from each other, similarly, the planet Earth is made up of various unique features and characteristics we call landforms. Yes, my friends, the landform is the natural geographical or physical features of the Earth that are classified into various types such as mountains, hills, valleys, plateaus, plains, etc. But before we shed some light on these types of landforms, let us briefly examine the process leading to the formation of these features. First comes the external process, in which external factors such as wind and rain shapes the Earth's surface by erosion and deposition. Yes, erosion is a process in which sediments get deposited in a different location. Whereas sediments are the materials on the Earth's surface, such as soil and rocks. Next comes the internal process. And as the name suggests, it is the process that occurs inside the Earth's surface such as plate tectonics and volcano eruptions. These occur because of the extreme heat in the Earth's core, causing the molten rock in the mantle layer to move, as a result causing uneven movement on the surface. These layers are either uplifting or sinking, forming different types of landforms that can be categorized into mountains plateaus and plains. So, let us explore these major types of landforms starting from the mighty mountains. Mountains are landforms higher and steeper than the surrounding areas. In general, the mountains are higher than 200 feet and divided into three categories fold, block and volcanic. Yes, when two tectonic plates collide and the edges of these plates fold because of the tremendous force between them, it creates the fold mountains. On the other hand, the block mountains form when large areas are broken and displaced vertically. These large areas of rock, sometimes stretching across hundreds of kilometers, are created by tectonic and localized stresses in the Earth's crust. And the third type of mountains are the volcanic mountains that are formed due to the magna flowing up from the mantle to the crust of the Earth. Next comes the plains. Most of the Earth's surface consists of low and high plains that are flat or the low relief areas on the surface of the Earth. These are the most fertile region of the planet and are the most suitable for human habitation and agriculture activities like farming and poultry. It might be formed as a result of the sedimentation of eroded soil from the top of the hills and mountains or due to flowing lava deposited by the agents of wind, water and ice. Now, let us look at the landform we call plateaus. A plateau is a flat, elevated landform that rises sharply above the surrounding area on at least one side. Plateaus occur on every continent and take up a third of the Earth's land and are divided into two categories, dissected plateaus and volcanic plateaus. A dissected plateau forms due to the upward movement in the Earth's crust, 
caused by the slow collision of tectonic plates. Whereas a volcanic plateau is formed by numerous small volcanic eruptions that slowly build up over time, creating a plateau from the resulting lava flows. And the fourth major type of landform is the ecological landscape known as the deserts. It is a dry piece of land with little or no vegetation due to lack of rainfall. In deserts, the atmospheric air is arid and the daytime temperature is high. The process by which fertile land becomes desert is called desertification. You won't believe, but human activities are a primary cause of desertification. Yes, these activities include overgrazing of livestock, deforestation, overcultivation of farmland, and poor irrigation practices. Overgrazing and deforestation remove plants that anchor the soil. As a result, wind and water erode the nutrient-rich topsoil. Also, hooves from feeding livestock compact the soil preventing it from absorbing water and fertilizers. Trivia time! Did you know the largest plateau in the world is the Tibetan Plateau located in Central Asia? Yes, it stretches through the countries of Tibet, China and India and occupies an area of 2.5 million square kilometers. Also, Landforms can exist underwater in the form of mountain ranges and basins under the sea. The Mariana Trench, the deepest landform on Earth, is in the South Pacific Ocean. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. And the painting is done. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs>